ladies and gentlemen, tankers of all ages. I am Indignant Beaver. This is, well, it's called the desert, but it's called Sand River. I'm in a Batchet 25 ton AP. Uh, the t this tank and I haven't gotten along very well. You don't get along with either of the bat chat autoloaders at tier 9 or tier 10. Um, I was actually just complaining about this tank to good buddies Darren and Paul. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I just have one of those games where apparently I can do things right. Uh, what I forgot is there are no Artie and nobody was coming this way. So these spots are somewhat pointless. They give you an idea who's going up the hill, right? Guard's doing his thing, he's trying to stop me, and I'm just trying to see if anything else is coming. I don't have the gun depression to shoot at any of this stuff. As you can see, a Patriot's coming my way, and so is a Scorpion, and that's not going to be enough. Yeah, I should have taken another shot there, but I got spotted and didn't want to get hit. Somebody else gets the tiger anyway, so we're good. Now I'm going to pull away. I've been spotted. I don't want to be hit by the stuff that's probably on the ledge. And I also don't want to put myself in a position to get flanked here by the stuff on the hill. So I'm trying to do the Patriot and Scorpion to sell it here. I'm going to try to light up to there. I'm going to hope that nothing's coming. This part's kind of boring. Basically, we're waiting for the E-Hondo, the Cax, and the T-30 to push. Really don't think the guard will, right? So I'll just hang out here for a bit, kinda waiting, see if anyone comes. And then I'll start moving. Because nothing's coming, it's taking a long time. So I figure I'm gonna push up a little bit here because the Patriot keeps moving up and see if I can't get something here. I'm a little bit worried about that in the middle, and then I realize, hey, it's on the wrong side to shoot me. Go figure, right? gonna back it up here and we're gonna take a peek again still nothing coming our Patriot has moved all the way up it wants to fight it takes a shot in the flank and unfortunately for him oh dear hopefully to get that shot to go in there's the cax t30 e hundo they're all moving together like a well-oiled machine I'm gonna pull back here, see if I can't get some side shots in. Hopefully not get hit, we'll see. Oh, the Char Future is up there too, my bad. And here I'm just kind of prepping to run away, because what else am I gonna do here? Oh, here comes that cat. Get a couple shots in. Nope, that one dies. That bounced his lower... And so did that one. Okay. GG. Time to run from RNG. Both our friends are dead. There is nobody up on our cliffside. If you take a look there at that two line by our camp. Uh, usually there's something there. Not this time. We don't even have things up on the F1 cliffside. TS5 and the Charioteer out in the field. Okay, a little something in a sec here. T30 is not in a bad position. You'll see them start complaining about people, which is fine. Um, I generally tend to lean away from that, unless I've done something that match. Usually. Listen, we all have our frustrations, especially when I'm trying to free my pants. That's not what I'm doing now. So here we go, I come back up. So I just want to spot the approach. I'm not going to waste shots on the hundo. Here we go. The char has moved out. The e hundo shot on the move. Char stops to shoot at me. He misses. He's got a four second inner clip. Oh, buddy. I'm sorry. Get hit by the guard, but well worth it. We shut down a very powerful tank. At least in my opinion. I think the char is a super powerful tank. And we pull away. I can't brawl an E100. And I'm not going to sit here and get shot at by a T-30 in a car. Hey, so I'm trying to get the crayon to focus attention back on us. Moving in to support you. Here we go. we got the guard lit in the middle, but I can't shoot it. He's behind the hill. TS-5 moves up. Not right, bud. I'm just kind of hoping to catch something. 
just anything, whether it's spotting or whatever. Oh, there's an E100 friend. Shot at her TS5 and misses. Now, still nothing supporting her right now. Which is kind of strange, right? And then he's going to go full stupid here. He's like, dang, I to go. And I'm going to farm him. Because he's big, fat, and slow, and only enough to really hit me. Just racking up. Just another one. I gotta switch to AP Snare because I don't want to load a clip of just four AP. Here goes that T30, he's all mad. You gave away the center, blah blah blah, we got flanked. Good for you, bud. Post game, he tells me he can read a map and everything else. Well, I mean, if you could read a map, then you knew from the start of the match we had nothing on the A line. But hey, that's just me. Here we go, we get the T30 up. I think that's our man for doing that. I'm still waiting for this load. Man. Such a long day. There we go. Pop him once, and you know what? I feel like he's going for the man so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go shut this guy down. <laughs> the crayon of the T30 are arguing. I didn't notice that. That's amazing. I love it. Get lit. Now I'm like, uh oh. Because that T30 is two shots for me, so I'm thinking I'm going to eat it right here. And where the hell did he go? I'm going to back out, take a peek. There we go. Get one to go. Yeah, that's a little Shot anyway. I got two left in the clip now. I could pull back and reload, or I can go get this shut down. So I decide let's go. With Amanda shuts down the 13105, makes it way easier for me to make this decision. The CAX hasn't been overly great in his movements, and like, yeah. choose to reload that clip now. now I'm gonna double back here. This T30's in a fun little position, so we want to keep him there and keep him out of the fight. In my humble opinion, plus the game's still pretty close. Minus the health points score here. But I mean, they still have an E100 and an ML2. This T30 could be a pest, you never know. The guard. Now, I'm just here to be a distraction. I want to turn his gun on me. I want our Cran and maybe our TS5 to get shots into him. See, he's paying attention to me. I'm not exposing myself. The TS5 puts one in, and then I go for the gun. Because, you know, that's what you do. Nope. Cran gets it. Or is our T30 close? The Cran! The Cran from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's who he is. The Cran. Now, I do believe I sent him an invite, do I? No, I don't. I don't think I do. Never mind. Maybe I tried. Crying! Anyway, I know the E100's running. I got a clip. Five rounds of APCR. I'm pretty confident. So I just go, hello. Gun depression. It's not a clip. He gets me on the move, which is cute. But I finish it. Drop into the ditch. I got two rounds left, and we know the guard has absolutely no HP, so let's just go for it. And okay, Mr. Guard hits me with a nice big high roll. He can now one shot me. But I'm gonna go for it because no guts, no glory. And right in the top. There you have it. Post game results two. Batch at AP.